Hello, 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 girls. All right. Today we're going to talk about eyeshadow. And here's the thing. I mean, honestly, like how many eyeshadow tutorials have you watched on YouTube? <laughs> I'm guilty. I've watched a million. And oftentimes I think, okay, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. That's so cool. Super intricate, cut crease, wing with your, what, I don't, I don't even, I, some of those things that the girls on YouTube do are so incredible. And I'll either look at it and say, I want to try that and try it. And it's a total bomb. Or I look at it and I'm like, I, there's no way, like, I'm not even, there's no way I'll be able to do that. And I personally, I don't like to take the time to do crazy eyeshadow, but over the years of me being in the beauty industry, I have learned that it's, there's just, there's basic things about it. And if you know the basics, you can venture out from there. I'm not here to tell you, you shouldn't go watch a YouTube video of a professional makeup artist and attempt their look. I'm just saying, if you know the basics that I'm going to show you right now, you can venture wherever you want with it or just keep it as simple as I like to keep it. So lots of choices in eyeshadow colors. There always are. And, um, it can be intimidating, right? It can be totally intimidating. So I have a palette in front of me that has seven colors in it. And lots of women have palettes that are pre-made like this. So these are super good options because they can be very versatile. And with these three basics of eyeshadows that I'm going to teach you, you'll be able to configure all these colors in a bunch of different looks. Now, there's people who just have like single eyeshadows. And actually, I am wearing just this single eyeshadow right now. And this is a great look. You pop a little mascara on and out the door you go. So one eyeshadow color is totally fine too. Then there's this. A palette that you see wherever you see it and you're like, what am I supposed to do with all those eyeshadows? <laughs> okay, don't don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm going to teach you three, three main rules, not rules, guidelines. These are guidelines with eyeshadow that will help you transition into wherever you want to take your eyeshadow game. Okay, so rule number one, choose a color that's similar to what I'm wearing. <laughs> this is called a transition color. Now I'm not saying it has to be the shade, but pick a medium colored eyeshadow. I'm going to show you a few of those. Medium colored, not too dark, not too light. Medium colored, not too dark, not too light. Let's open this big palette. I'm going to show you. Okay. Medium colored, not too dark, not too light. Um, no, that one's kind of dark medium colored, not too dark, not too light. So does, do you see what I'm getting at? This one's, uh, that one's kind of more on the light side, but a medium colored eyeshadow and you're going to pick a dark eyeshadow, dark, 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 dark. Here's another dark and here's a dark and you're going to pick a light. Okay. How simple is that? You're going to pick a light, a medium and a dark. Now, with the medium one, the medium one is your, the, the middle one's the one you're going to start with, okay? And you, I personally like this color to be a matte color. Matte means no shimmer, no sparkle, no nothing. If it's more of a satin finish, so it has a, a tiny bit, then that's okay, okay? Um, but the, the you can add the sparkle later. Choose a medium color that has matte finish. That is my, that is my preference. So what I'm going to show, I'm going to actually show you how I applied this really quick. So you're going to, there's three different areas that you're going to set these. And I'm going to show you the three different areas, light, medium, dark, and where to put them. Okay. From there, you venture off wherever you want. Get this basic thing down first and, and off you go. Simple, simple. Okay. So when you apply the transition color, which is your medium color, okay, a transition color, then we're going to choose a, a highlight color and a contour. So again, those three, light, medium, dark, highlight, transition, contour. I know I'm getting a little technical now, but light, medium, dark. Okay. So ooh, you're going to, you're going to choose some sort of brush that's not super compact. So I wouldn't choose this brush 
to apply this to my eye. This is not the one I used. Actually, this was the one I used. This one would be fine too, a little bit more of a fluffy brush. But this is a really basic, this is called the Deluxe Brush. This is one of my absolute favorites that we have. This is going to be the most versatile brush you own because I actually use it for a lot of different things. So I'm just going to quickly show you, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to quickly show you with this palette how I applied this medium transition color. And it's, I'm going to pop it right in the center and windshield wiper back and forth right in my crease. I'm going to blend it down a little and I'm going to blend it up a little. So you start in the center of your crease, blend up a little, blend down a little. Now here's why this is called a transition color and here's why you want it to be medium. Because we're going to place the light and the dark around this one. This is the one that's going to transition all your colors together, okay? So I'm actually only going to do one eye for you so that you guys can see and I don't make this video go crazy long. So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to go into the light color, okay? This will be kind of your highlight color. And I'm going to choose this color right here and this palette is lofty. It does have shimmer to it. Now, you're thinking, okay, Molly, but I'm getting older. People say not to put put sparkle eyeshadow on your eyes when you're older. Now, this is, again, it's a guideline. You do whatever the heck you want. If you want to wear sparkle on your eyes, you wear sparkle on your eyes. But I'm going to tell you a trick so that you aren't, because what sparkle can do is accentuate any fine lines and wrinkles. So the trick is when you're applying some sort of eyeshadow with a shimmer, you want to always dip, always tap the extra off, but you're pretty much going to press this shadow onto your eyelid instead of swiping it because swiping might cause more fallout and then you might get that shimmer down here and we don't want to shimmer up any fine lines under our eyes, right? So I'm just pressing this light color or highlight color onto the mobile part of my lid. The mobile part is a part that moves. Now, some of you will have hooded eyes like me, so maybe you'll see your whole eyelid when your eyes open. That's called a contour eye. I have a classic eye where I don't see a lot of my eyelid when my eye is open. So this is going to go onto the part of your eyelid that moves. Okay? That's it. Then I'm going to go back to my, my um, deluxe brush. I'm going to go into a dark. So medium, light. We're going to dip in the dark and tap. Now, you could just leave your eyeshadow look like this. This is just going to bring a little bit of contour and a little bit more drama into your look. So this is, this is, don't, don't freak out right now, okay? This is a very basic area and you don't want to overthink it. You want to keep it so simple. So I'm going to start on the outer corner of my crease. I'm going to swipe it down to my um, lash line. And do one more dip, one more tap, and I'm going to sweep it in towards the center of my eye. Down and in. You're kind of making a sideways V, okay? Then you can take this brush, but you want to rinse it off or swipe it off onto a Kleenex and get any extra color off of there. There's not a ton of color on there. But my love is to grab the blending brush so it's just a tiny bit bigger, a tiny bit fluffier than the other one and you're going to blend all of those colors together. You guys, that's it. That, that is it. You want a little more drama, you add a little bit more. I want a little more drama, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm barely moving my brush on this one because what I'm going to, I'm going to move the color with my blending brush. Little swipes. Now, another really great tip I can give you is, do you guys see where I'm holding this brush? <clears throat> I'm holding it way on the end. Now, if I were to hold it up here next to the bristles, I'm going to be pressing too hard. This gives you a super light hand and really the basics, the light, medium, dark colors and getting them blended together just right is what's going to give you the easiest look, um, the easiest, most simple, like you, you worked at it, but it wasn't like a professional YouTuber, right? So you can see how that looks like a really pretty eyeshadow look, right? 
So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that that makes sense. A light, a medium, a dark transition, medium color goes into your crease. The highlight or the lighter color goes onto your eyelid. And then you grab that dark contour color and you make a tiny V or backwards V, whichever way you're going, whichever eye you're doing. And you press it in there and lightly blend it out. Not, you don't want to pull the color out too much and you also don't want to pull the color too far past where the corner of your eye and your eyebrow meet because that's going to droop your eyes. So keep it all up and forward. You don't even have to add that darker color if you don't want to. That is it. I hope this helps you guys. Try it with the colors you have at home. Lord knows how many eyeshadow colors a woman owns and we don't know what to do with. But if you can pick out those light, medium, dark, get that transition color as your medium, and then just follow those basic rules of where to apply them, you're going to be golden.